Red, white, and blue represent. Change for work. Fed the little baby fish over here. There you are. Made my bed. And now we're ready for the day. Running a little late, so we just gotta get up and going. It's about 7.45 right now. We gotta make sure everything's handled before we get out. We're gonna grab some breakfast. We're gonna hit our first stop. Let's uh, see how today is. Maybe something exciting will come up. We'll see. Let's see. It's raining out a little bit today. Not too bad. Just a little dry. We got. A nice little baby apple right here that fits in the palm of my hand. It's a very tiny apple today. And we do not have a protein shake. So you know what that means? That means we get in Starbucks. Let's get our caffeine for the day. I don't know what kind of apple this is, but it's tiny. It's super like squishy. It's not even like apple texture. I don't understand. Oh, it's just, ugh. I'm, I'll try to eat it, but I don't know. Maybe not. I got to my first stop. I'm gonna take just a little time to myself, you know, just a moment, maybe 10 minutes or so, to sit back, relax, meditate, and get ready for my day. There we go. So that was definitely a good little session there. Now we're feeling great. Let's go hit our first stop. There it is. Want to get our coffee? Maybe a little sandwich. Hold me over for the day because that apple did not do it today. And we didn't even have a coffee. So here we got our breakfast. We got the impossible sandwich. A caramel ribbon frappuccino. We got our call notes getting set up for the day. And now we're back on the road. I have to say, this caramel frappuccino ribbon thing is so delicious. Mm. So I'm getting my caffeine in all while enjoying a nice delicious smoothie basically. So far some great news. I'm at Bay Crane right over here and he told me he was interested in getting a pallet of drums. Each drum is about $130, $140 and a pallet of drums is 20 drums. Huge sale here. We just gotta keep pushing them. Make sure he gets them. We are. All systems, oh. brake servers. Now that we're about halfway through my day, I think it's time for lunch. And what better lunch to get than Burger King? Hell nah. Panera Bread. Our free sips, so you know what I mean. Let's enjoy our lunch. We started to write our notes for this morning. And we got the usual. Chicken avocado melt. And all the sips. Mango yuzu citrus. And a bag of potato chips. Time to enjoy. The aftermath. Now it's time to get back on the road and finish my day. And it is pouring again as I leave Panera Bread. Like I said before, I absolutely love the rain. There's something so soothing about the way it hits your skin. It's, it just feels good. It's just so natural and honestly, it feels great on your skin. And then exciting news, I'm actually going to CrossFit today with my boss, the owner of this company right here. We're doing a workout together. It's a partner workout. Oh my God. So I just got into my car. It started really coming down hard. You hear that? Uh-oh. So this workout's gonna be a ton of fun because it involves running outside. Hopefully this rain dies down and it already feels like it is. But I absolutely love rain. This is some beautiful weather. As you can tell, it's kind of downpouring right now, but the sun is still shining. I just stopped by Central Islip Public Library after work for a brief assessment that I had to do for a possible internship for iOS development, which would be huge. It was a relatively good assessment. Look how bright it is. So it was raining earlier and now the sun is absolutely shining. Well, I gotta head home real quick. 
get changed for a 911 workout at my CrossFit gym with my boss. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. I'm right around the corner from my house and I have to rush a little bit to get changed for CrossFit and head out my door. We're gonna make this workout. We're gonna try to find red, white, and blue clothing to wear. Real quick, in and out, make sure I feed my fish, get changed, drink my coconut water, and head out super quick, in and out. She's nice and fed. Mm, thank you for the food. You're welcome, babe. <whistles> got my fit on, and we gotta grab the coconut water. Time to head out the door. Red, white, and blue represent. Let's get this workout. Let's attack it. On my way to CrossFit. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, baby, it's storming up. Holy, this is gonna be fun weather to run in. Oh my God, the sun is shining and the rain is storming. Just got to the gym. Shwing. It's in that corner over there. Where was my train of thought? I drank way too much coconut water, so my belly is a little full. At the gym, we got a nice cute little puppy. Hey, baby. Hi, kids, how are you doing? Time to work out. 9-11 Memorial Workout. You're gonna work with a partner and a 2001 meter run because of course what happened in 9-11-2001. Nine burpee pull-ups and 11 clusters you'll do four times. And then you will end with a 2,977 meter row. <laughs> Let's go, Richie. Finish him in the 3,000 meter row. That was one hell of a workout. I'm over here dying, my partner over there. He's dying over there too. It was a good workout. We didn't really split the work though. He did all the burpees, I did all the clusters. Huh. Okay, I'm okay. Him. He's a dinosaur. Hello, dinosaur. Hello. Hello. Finally recovered from that workout, and that was exhausting. I worked with my boss, Richie. We split the work a little bit differently than expected. He did an extra 400 meters of running, so I did eight, he did 12. And when it came to the nine burpee pull-ups, he did all of those because I had the majority of the clusters, which is the heavy part. So he stuck to the endurance part, I stuck to the heavy lifting. So I did nine clusters to his two. And with the rowing, he probably did an extra 500 meters or so. It was overall good teamwork. Uh, he's the endurance athlete and I'm the strength athlete. Perfect team. Now time to head home and cook dinner because I need some protein. It's gonna be one of those HelloFresh meals and those things, delicious. Just got home, took a quick shower. Now I'm nice and washed off all the sweat off my body. I feel great. Fishy says, hey guys, how are you doing today? She always says that. Come on, think of new material. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, she's in the back. Now that we're home, it's time to cook a nice home cooked meal. We're gonna cook a chicken, sausage, linguine, and roasted tomato. It looks pretty good, except it's uh, two servings and I'm only one person, so I'll probably give the leftovers to either my dad, my mom, or maybe my brother. Let's get it cooking. Whoa. I got downstairs and I saw the ingredients and I'm like, you know what? Why don't we do a burger instead? Nice and simple. It's Auntie Jack Burgers with French fries or potato wedges. We got all the ingredients here. We got the ground beef, buns, onion, potatoes, cheese, and garlic. We got the onions cooking. So we got the burgers formed. We just gotta cut the buns in half, cook the burger. We got the potato wedges. We still got another 15 minutes on those. They're caramelizing up nice. And the garlic we're throwing on the potato tray. Nice. Cooking up the burgers. What'd you say, Mom? Nothing. We got the burgers sizzling. The potatoes only have another minute. And we got the buns toasting. It's almost time to put on the cheese. Mm. Now here's the finished result. We got those delicious looking burgers with the Monty Jack cheese. We're gonna top it with the caramelized onions. And at the side, we're gonna have some nice potato wedges. All finished. And then after we gotta do the dishes. I just enjoyed some delicious burgers that I made. My brother and my dad split the other burger. I made theirs a little bit too rare. Mine was more of a medium, theirs was more of a medium rare. I guess I didn't cook it a little, I cooked it a little too short. That's okay, the potato wedges, absolutely delicious, nice and crispy every single bite. So now 
Now what? Well, you can see it's nighttime. If we look out the window, it's kind of dark because it's like eight o'clock at night. So that being said, for the rest of the night, I'm probably just gonna work on some videos, editing, and have a good night.